In this video, I will show you how to optimize blog posts in Elementor. I will specifically show you how to optimize blog posts with Rank Math. And this video is for you if you've created your blog post with Elementor. And it has to do with how I can rank on search engines like Google. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Before we get started, to create a blog website like this, I will leave a video tutorial in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. So to do that, I need to install a plugin. I'll exit out of here for now. Then I'll go over to plugins, add new. Under search plugins, I enter rank map. So this is the Rank Math SEO plugin. It has over 900,000 active installations. I click on install now. It is installed, I activate. We are just going to do some basic settings of the plugin. So I'll connect my account. So you can log in with Facebook, Google, or WordPress. If you are not a member yet, you can re click on register now. It's a simple process, but I'm already on rank math. So I'll go with Google. I'll click on accept terms and conditions, choose Google. So I need to sign into my Gmail account. I'll go ahead and use this. Then I click on activate now. I just want to keep the basic settings of rank math. So I'll return to dashboard. Now under these models, I want to enable local SEO and knowledge graph. So I toggle it on and I leave the rest as they are. So now that rank path is installed, let's go ahead and optimize our blog post. So I go to post and I scroll down to this particular one. I edit it with Elementor. Right here, I click on SEO. So currently, according to rank math, I have 11 over 100. And in order to rank better, I need to increase the percentage. Take note, this doesn't really mean that you will be ranked better on Google when you get higher percentage. This is just a guide to tell you what you actually need to have on your web page in order to rank better. So the first thing I'll do is enter my focus keyword, which is best ways to manage personal finance at home. The best ways to manage personal finances. So after entering the focus keyword, I've increased it from 11 to 68%. Now on the basic SEO, I have one error, which is focus keyword not found in SEO meta description. This is the SEO meta description. So I click on edit snippet. And in here, I need to change it in such a way that best ways to manage personal finance will appear right here so this is what i want to enter and you see that it's now all good so i exit out of here if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue going down content is 1008 words long good job uh, you get green when you get about 1005 words or more now additional i have three errors i drop it down keyword density is 0 0.60 focus keyword and combination appears six times in here you don't want to over populate your keywords link out to external resources so if you have other website which you want to link up to you can do that so that your post will be ranked better google likes that you also need to add do follow links pointing to external resources additionally you need to add internal links internal links has to do with your own content on your website so let's see how we can add some links in our blog post so i edit any of these sections maybe i'll highlight personal finances i click on insert link let me open my website again 
I'll just grab this link, right click on it, copy link, right click, paste, then click on apply. Remember, we're having 70 over 100. Let's see what we'll get after all this. Maybe I have a website I want to link to that talks about credit cards. I'll just highlight it. You can, so you can do the editing here or here. Now I click on link. I'll just enter the URL of that website. So https pages.com and I click on insert. Maybe I also want to make it a do follow link. With that, I need to do it from here. So I edit, go to settings, I click on add no follow links. And since it's an external link, I need to open the link in a new tab so that people will not go away from my website. I update, I click on update, I go back to elements, then SEO. You see that I now have 79, that is from 70 to 79. I still have one error. So in here, Rank Math is saying that we found one outbound links in your content and all of them are no follow. So I still need another link which will redirect to a particular website, but it shouldn't be a no follow link. So you see how this is tedious. However, you don't need to overdo this. Just make sure everything looks real. But I just want to do it in order to show you how you can get there. I edit this section. I want to link to manage your personal finances at home. I click on link, enter another website, HTTPS. I click on apply. I edit it. Click on settings. Open link in a new tab. So this time around, it's not going to be a new follow link. I update. Let's go to elements, SEO, see that I have 81 and everything is all good here. Finally, content readability, I drop down the arrow, use table of content to break down your text. At least one paragraph is long, consider using short paragraphs. Your content contains images and or videos. So I need to have some images or videos in my post. So I'll fix all this. So what I do is, first of all, I update. Then I'll take care of the table of contents. So to get the table of content in my blog post, I need to use a plugin. So to do that, I go over to the back end of my website. I go over to plugins, add new. And the search, I enter table of contents. I'll go ahead and use easy table of contents. I install now. Activate, plugin installed and activated. Next, I go over to settings and I click on table of contents. In here, I have a bunch of settings. I'll just keep it to the minimum. Enable support, I'll uncheck pages. Auto insert, I choose post. Then I scroll down, click on save changes. Now let's go and check one of our posts to see how table of contents will come up. So I open this, scroll down, and it is right here. Perfect. So now let's go back to Elementor. Next, I'll add a video. So I go over to YouTube. I have a video on YouTube. I select this video. Now just grab the link, copy. I don't want to play it. Go back to Elementor. Go to Elements. And I drag in the video element right here. So I'll see a thumbnail of a video. Then in here, I paste my link. So you can also use other sources. So I'm using YouTube. You can use Vimeo, Dailymotion, or Self-Hosted. With self hosted you need to upload the video onto your web server. Perfect. Maybe I can add a little title here. Elements. Watch video on YouTube. I update. I go to Elements, SEO. 
so now i have 83 percent going down i still have two errors with table of contents i need to refresh my page let's go back to seo scroll down i now have one errors and this has to do with the paragraphs so you may not want to make your paragraphs very long you need to keep short paragraphs so what you need to do is just go through your blog post and make your paragraph as short as possible but like i said earlier you don't really need to get all 100 percent this doesn't really indicate that you rank better on google or whichever search engine when you get 100 percent i hope you get the concept so i click on update and i exit out of here so that's it on how to optimize your blog post in Elementor using Rank Map. Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.